But that's all for today. Just kidding, you know I wouldn't do that to you guys. A few days ago, I asked you guys on Instagram if you preferred a late night snack or to rework a dish. A resounding number of you voted for the former, so that's exactly what we're going to do today. So instead of reaching for that bag of chips and snacking on that alone, why not make a smashing dip to go with it? Because smashed avocado. So in today's video, we make guacamole. Begin by getting some ripe avocados. For the uninitiated, figuring out how ripe an avocado is is actually pretty easy. While many people will tell you to go for the darker coloured avocados, this method is not only inconsistent but completely useless to a colourblind person. Instead, just pick one up and gently press it. If the flesh feels fairly tender, then you're good to go. If it ends up smooshing together, then it's either too ripe or your grip is just too strong. Peeling them is fairly simple as well. Using a sharp knife, Slice into the middle of the fruit until the blade hits the seed. Gently rotate the fruit and remove the blade once you've gone all the way around. Twist the fruit to split it in half. To remove the seed, strike it with your knife and twist to remove. Needless to say, be careful when you do this as human flesh isn't one of the required ingredients. Finally, using a spoon, scoop around the outsides of the fruit and the flesh should come right out. Some people prefer creating a crisscross pattern using your knife before scooping it out and that works fine as well. Next, finely dice your red onions. If you like a chunkier guacamole, then just make bigger cuts. Do the same for your tomatoes. Here, I'm using baby Roma tomatoes which don't have a lot of liquid in them. However, if you're using a larger tomato, then you may want to remove some of the seeds to prevent your guacamole from becoming too watery. Similarly, do the same yet again with your jalapenos. I'm using the pickled variants because fresh jalapenos are pretty difficult to find here. This ingredient is optional, so feel free to leave it up. Finally, grab a handful of cilantro and chop through them once. If you enjoy a herbier guacamole, then just add more. Unlike the jalapenos, this is not optional. Once you're done with all that, place your avocados into a mixing bowl and mash away using your apparatus of choice. A large whisk, potato masher or fork does the job pretty quickly. Season with salt and pour in the rest of your ingredients. Give everything a good mix and you are pretty much done. Just kidding. When life gives you lemons, start a party. When life gives you lime, make guacamole. When squeezing lime, roll it on the table first just like this to make your life a lot easier. You can also use a fork just like this to speed up the juicing process. Give everything one final mix and taste for seasoning. Now you can grab your chips and enjoy your healthy, delicious dip with your unhealthy snack at your leisure. And there you have it, how to make guacamole. Now the best thing about this is that you can make a batch in advance and snack on it whenever you want with whatever you want, be it chips, bread, burritos or even on its own. As for the issue of it turning brown, well this is due to oxidization and can be solved really simply. Now many people will tell you to put the seed of the avocado into the guacamole to stop it from browning. This is completely useless advice and is the same as stapling water to a tree because it accomplishes absolutely nothing other than frustrating you. As for a method that actually works, all you have to do is to place your guacamole in a airtight container and cover it with a layer of water. Alternatively, you can put the guacamole in a bowl, cover it with a little bit of water and cover it with cling film doing your best to remove as much air as possible. Basically, the less exposure it has to air, the less likely it will brown. Whenever you get the munchies, all you have to do is to pour away the water, give it a good mix and proceed to consume. As you can see over here, the difference between the two methods speak for itself. Now this won't completely stop it from turning brown, but it will prolong the overall greenish hue of your guacamole for a few more days. But that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, remember to like and subscribe and to share the video. Also, let me know in the comments down below what other dishes you like to see, what other recipes you like to learn, or what other products you like me to review. If you're wondering about the different background, well that's due to certain reasons and we will be back to the usual setup eventually. Hopefully. Maybe. But for now, I'll say thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.